If you are a local business looking to run ads for your campaign or you're currently running a Google Ads campaign and you're noticing that you're targeting outside of your targeted areas that you set within Google, it's probably because you have your targeting settings set incorrectly. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through how to set up your location targeting the right way um, and share with you some expert tips on how to make sure that you're keeping the targeting as tight as possible. Because I know as a local business, the budget can be very limited and we wanna make sure that we're spending the budget in the right place to maximize results. So let me go ahead and take you through exactly how to go about setting up your location targeting. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the left column and I'm going to select locations. Within this, I'm going to select the pencil icon and what you will notice is that I have a radius targeting set up and I also am targeting a city, which is Waco, Texas. Um, just so that you know, when it comes to location targeting within Google, you can target by country, city, region, DMA, postcode, so zip code, or you can also do radius. Um, there's quite a bit of like, uh, unique ways to go about doing targeting, but the most common for local businesses is going to be radius targeting um, as well as city or zip code. Zip code keeps things really tight, um, but it really just depends on how you, uh, how you target um, and how you want to serve your clients. So it's really up to you. So what you'll see is once you set up the radius targeting, you'll just um, click on radius, enter, um, an address or a city and then you can do 20 miles around what I've done is around 20 miles around Dallas Fort Worth um, and it has given me uh, or 80 miles around um, it's given me a pretty wide range here and then what I also did is that it just added Waco so just so that you know you can do more than one type of targeting it doesn't just have to be radius it could also be radius plus city plus county um, just depending on how you want to serve your specific clientele. So with that, um, once you set that up, you just you can see then within this um, within the blue exactly where you'll be targeting. Now, one thing to note is just because you have this set up doesn't mean that the work is done. Um, it doesn't mean that okay now Google has the right settings. There's a couple different sneaky things that you have to be aware of um, and please pay attention because it's gonna be really important to know so you're not wasting any budget. Um, but after you click save, what's gonna happen is you are going to be able to serve to this market or to this area under certain conditions. So the next step is to check your settings just to make sure that your settings are set up properly. And in this case, um, we would go to settings and then go to locations. So we'll be able to see under locations exactly um, where uh, we're targeting, which is here, what we had just set up under location. So you can actually set it up here as well. But one of the sneaky things that Google Ads um, has in here is this location options button that's kind of hidden. If you don't opt out of this uh, first option here, um, it's going to just automatically opt you in. So you have two options. So one is targeting by presence or interest, people in regularly in or who've shown interest in your targeted location. That's option number one, and that's recommended by Google. Option number two is presence. So people in or regularly in your targeted locations. So what's the difference between these two and why do I typically always choose the second one for local businesses? Well. Um, option number one is targeting people in regularly in or who've shown interest in your targeted locations. So if you have this setting and you're noticing that you're getting clicks from Florida, from uh, New York, or some other states that you don't serve in, let's say that you're in Texas, it could very well be that someone in New York or Florida is searching for, let's say you're a hospice agency, hospice care in Waco, Texas. Um, the likelihood of someone in New York or Texas looking, uh, or, or Florida looking for a Texas agency is low, but it could very well be that they're looking for a loved one that lives in Texas, or maybe they're going to move to Texas, um, and they are looking to find an agency, 
uh, once they move here, um, but they wanted to do some preliminary research. So that's probably why you might be getting clicks from out of state. You could be getting clicks out of the country if they've shown interest in your location. So that's why uh, this setting is really tricky because just because you have this set up doesn't mean you're only going to be targeting just this area. You could be targeting way outside of your geography. So if you're a local business, typically I would recommend presence, people in or regularly in your targeted locations. So what this means is it's people that are physically in that targeted location. That's the most ideal, um, but regularly in your targeted location. So it could be someone that commutes from uh, another city into Waco or commutes uh, from another city into this 80 mile radius. Um, so it's going to be a lot closer to what you're looking for. Unfortunately, there's no option for people in your target locations, um, but now it's people in or regularly in. So choose the second one if you want to keep the targeting as focused as possible um, in these specific locations that we have here. Next up is um, negative keywords. So what we want to do is um, what you might notice is if you do not have negative keywords for ne negative locations, you could be attracting some of the wrong audience. So just so that you know, sometimes there could be someone in your targeted area looking for, let's say the service that you offer, but in another state or in another city that you don't service. So what you want to do is you need to make sure that you're adding um, locations as negative keywords because those can also trigger people that are in your area looking for services outside of your area. So that's also something else to keep in mind. Um, so what I typically like to do is uh, create a negative geos list, um, which what I do is I grab a list of all of the states that I don't target um, that are outside of this area. So let's say every state except for Texas, I'll add as a phrase match negative keyword here. I'll also add the state's abbreviations if it makes sense. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll also pick some large counties or cities that someone it, within my targeted area might potentially search for. So let's say that, you know, in this Dallas Fort Worth area, um, we can't serve Houston because Houston is really far away. So Houston is a really big, um, uh, it's a big DMA, um, and we, but we don't service it. So what we can do is we can add Houston as a negative keyword. Um, so that's typically what I would do. Um, and then I would apply that to all of my non-brand campaigns. So that's pretty much it in terms of um, the location targeting and how to get it as close to the target as possible in terms of setting the location, picking the right settings and adding negative keywords. Um, something else to note too with locations is if you're noticing that for some reason you're targeting, um, you might be grabbing if you're doing radius targeting and in this example, this one's doing a radius around Dallas, but it's also bleeding into Oklahoma. You can add Oklahoma as a negative so that you won't be attracting someone from Oklahoma into your campaign. Um, something that I also see too that I think is a little bit overkill, but some client, some uh, clients and some other people do, which I again think it's a bit overkill, is they add every other state outside of this state as a negative. Um, exclusion so that we, there's absolutely no way that anyone from outside of that area could potentially target. Now if you have that as an option or you want to go ahead and do that, um, I guess what's stopping you from adding every single country? Um, but that, I again, I think it's a bit overkill. You don't need to do that. Um, what I do is I'll just do the targeting and just make sure that it's serving within that targeted area. I typically don't ever see funky things happening um, unless uh, the targeted settings for locations is set outside of um, that first option or, or set in that first option that I shared with the location settings where it's targeting people in or regularly in or who've shown interest in your location. Um, 
But that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel. If you are looking for some help with your Google Ads campaign, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to give you an evaluation and discuss how I could potentially help you with your campaign. So yeah, have a great day and we'll talk soon.